Okay, just really quickly at the end of Rush's turn, I forgot to roll Lend Lease. Now they won't get any for the Pacific side of the board, but C Zone 126 is free, and Archangel is uh, free as well. So we are going to get to roll uh, a six sided die. It's a four, which means that they get a destroyer in C Zone 127. So, I will put a destroyer on the board for them. Okay, so Russia now has a destroyer in C Zone 127. Um, so, add that to the uh, unit dispositions. Okay, we have to do this in two stages because um, his purchases are going to depend on whether or not he gets his tech. So he has $53 to spend and uh, he's going to spend five of that on tech dice in an attempt to get his tech. So we'll roll that now. I'll just scoot that up so that we can see the results of the dice roll. And he gets his tech. And I've been informed that his tech is going to uh, affect his purchases because his tech is, let me just get it here, his tech is, let me find it, sorry I should have had this ready, his tech is improved shipyards. So he is going to start purchasing some discount ships. Uh, so let me uh, get that sorted and I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so Japan has spent five dollars uh, to get its tech and it got its tech. It rolled three sixes, so it got its tech three times. Uh, and that leaves uh, forty-eight dollars to spend. Uh, sorry, is that right? Five fifty-three Yes, $48 to spend. Uh, so, they're going to get three tanks for 18 and they're going to get uh, a battleship for now 16 instead of 20 and two destroyers for 7 instead of 8, so that's 16 and 14 is $30. Okay, uh, there's a number of attacks that we have to uh, um, do right now. Um, oh, hang on. I'm going to pause this for a sec and come back. I think I forgot one. Okay, yeah, I was just double checking something. I found it odd that he wasn't coming in here with any ground forces, but um, that's fine. Uh, okay, so uh, he's going to come into Buryatia with um, a strategic bomber and two fighters uh, to attack these two um, um, cavalry here. Uh, he's going to come into Ulan Batar with two infantry from Amur and one infantry from Buyant Uha, uh, along with a fighter uh, from uh, Korea. Uh, okay, in China, let's have a look at what's going on here. This is just a walk in, Sui Yuan to Kansu, uh, but he is attacking Shanxi with. Uh, two infantry from Sui Yuan and a tactical bomber from Shahar, along with two fighters from Hunan and the strategic bomber from all the way down here in Siam. Uh, he is doing a walk in to Sichuan with a single infantry, and he's coming into Yunnan pretty hard with all of the rest of the ground forces from Kwai Chow. So that's three infantry, three tanks, uh, three artillery, and a, and a uh, mechanized infantry and then two infantry and two artillery from Hunan. Um, the two fighters and two tactical bombers that are left in Hunan are going to be attacking Shan State along with the th three of the four infantry from Siam. Okay. Uh, the artillery from Guangxi is going to go into French Indochina. Uh, the infantry from Guangxi is going to go into Guangtung along with the three tanks from Kiangsu. And now we have to go down into the South Pacific and have a look at a few things down there. Okay, 
uh, the fighter and the tactical bomber from the carrier in C Zone 36 are going to be making an air attack on Malaya. Okay, the transport from C Zone 36 is going to go to C Zone 37, pick up one of the infantry from Siam, and move on and attack Sumatra and, and have an amphibious landing in Sumatra. Okay, um, what else? Oh, uh, the fighter in C Zone 6 uh, from the carrier is going to be attacking the uh, lone Australian transport in C Zone 20, and that's an auto kill. Um, and then down here, he is going to start to move these uh, transports. Um, the transport, there's three transports here. Two of them have two infantry, one of them has an infantry and a tank. They will all be moving to various locations. The one with the infantry and the tank is going to be going to the Celebes and landing and trying to kill this uh, Australian unit. Um, to get rid of the transport that's already in the water there, he's going to send a um, fighter from the carrier in C-Zone 33. Uh, the other two transports will be going to C-Zones 42 and 43 and making amphibious landings in Java and Borneo, and those will be unopposed. So, I'll set all this up. There are a number of battles to roll, so we'll get to those right away, and uh, let's get started. It's the battle for Buryatia. This is an air attack only because no ground forces have been brought in. It's two fighters and a strategic bomber versus two cavalry. So that's two threes and a four. No hits. No hits. Okay, so the bomber flies away and doesn't get to participate anymore. So it's two fighters versus two cavalry. One hit, one hit, one hit, no hits. So uh, the cavalry are taken out uh, at the cost of one Japanese plane. Okay, it's a battle for Ulan Batar. Three infantry and a fighter versus a cavalry. Hit. Cav. Miss. So the uh, Japanese take the territory with no casualties. Alright, in the battle for Shen Si, the Japanese are coming in with two infantry two fighters, one tactical bomber, which will be performing a target select, and one strategic bomber. The Chinese are defending with three infantry. So here's the target select. Miss. Okay, so two ones for the infantry, two threes for the fighter, and a four for the uh, strategic bomber. Two hits. That's two of the three infantry killed. One hit. I'm assuming he's going to want to keep going. All right, the bomber doesn't fire again because it flies off, but we have uh, one infantry, two fighters, and attack. Two hits. So battle's over. Do they take the territory? They do. Okay, so one. Um, Japanese casualty uh, and um, Shensi is taken. Okay, this is a battle for Yunnan. This is going to be overkill, but one mechanized infantry, five infantry supported by five artillery, and three tanks. Uh, he's dead one, two, three, four. He's dead five times. So, no surprise there. But, are the Chinese going to be able to take casualties? Probably not. 
Nope. So Japan takes the territory, no casualties. Okay, this is the battle for Shan State. The Ch Japanese are coming in with three infantry, two fighters, and two tactical bombers. The tactical bombers will both be making a target select on two separate uh, infantry. And they missed both of them. Jeez, the target selects haven't been hitting today. Okay, so three ones for the infantry, two twos for the, uh, for the uh, fighters. Three hits. So the battle is over. But all three of the British units do get to defend. And they have two hits. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Okay, uh, so the Japanese do take the territory, but they take two infantry as casualties. Okay, this is an air attack on Malaya uh, from the two fighters from the um, carrier uh, Soryu, which are going to be attacking uh, the lone uh, Anzac uh, fellow there. Okay, uh, he is going to do a target select. Let's see if it actually hits this time. It does not. Okay, so the fighter hits. Okay, so um, the Aussie does get a defense, and he hits. So uh, he told me to lose the fighter rather than attack. Um, man, that's three zero oh for 3 in target selects this round. That's uh, pretty bad. Oh, no. Did one of them hit? I can't remember, but he hasn't hit very well with the target selects. So, um, the infantry is destroyed, but at the cost of a fighter. It's the battle for C-Zone 44. <clears throat> a fighter from the aircraft carrier Akagi is going to auto-kill the uh, Aussie, uh, Aussie transport, the HMAS Terrakan, uh, in order to clear the C-Zone for the landing of the Hikawa Maru in, um, in uh, the Celebes. Okay, so this is an auto kill. We don't need to roll this, but um, the battle has happened and the Aussie um, transport is killed. Okay, this is the amphibious landing in the Celebes. The Hikawa Maru is dropping off an infantry and a tank. That's a one and a three. Both misses. Aussies defend. Miss. Both misses. Hit. 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 So the territory is not taken. Uh, that's a blow. Um, so he's not going to collect that bonus this turn. Uh, but uh, the territory is cleared and he can probably walk into it next turn. Okay, it's the battle for C-Zone 20. This is an auto kill. The fighter from the uh, aircraft carrier Kaga is attacking the Australian transport the HMAS lie uh, and as I said there's no roll here it's an auto kill uh, so the transport is sunk and the sea zone is cleared okay the battle for Kwang Tung one infantry and three tanks versus two infantry one hit no hits One hit, no hits. So the Japanese take the territory with no casualties whatsoever. Let's do Japanese non-combat. The infantry in the Soviet Far East is going to move uh, to Siberia. Uh, the planes that took part in the 
Buryatia and Ulan Batar attacks. Uh, the two fighters are going to land in Korea, and the um, strategic bomber is going to land in um, uh, Japan. Uh, the fighter that was already in Korea is going to land in Japan. Uh, two of the destroyers in Season 6 are going to move to Season 16 as blockers. Um, what else? Oh, okay. Uh, down here, uh, this um, artillery is going to move into Shahar. This infantry is going to move into Sui Yuan. Uh, the two tactical bombers from Shahar are going to make their way back one, two, three, four to Japan. Um, all of the fighters and bombers and stuff, all the planes in the Shanxi attack are going to land in Kwai Chow. All the planes in the Shan State attack are going to end in Kwai Chow as well. Um, okay. Oh, um, the fighter that killed the Australian transport is going to land back on the carrier in C-Zone 6. Um, okay, in C-Zone 33, one of the destroyers is going to move to C-Zone 45, presumably as some sort of blocker. Uh, and then the rest of the Navy in 33, that's two destroyers, two subs, and a... Um, uh, a uh, carrier with um, a tactical bomber are going to move to Sea Zone 42 off the coast of Java. Um, they will be joined there by the fighter that participated in the Sea Zone 44 attack. Uh, the carrier in Sea Zone 36 here is going to move to Sea Zone 41 and the tactical bomber involved in the Malaya attack is going to land on it. I think that might be it. Um, so I'll tidy up the board and uh, we'll be back for placements and money. Oops. Okay, in terms of placements, the three tanks are going to go in Kyungsu. The New battleship will go in Sea Zone 6, and the two new destroyers will go in Sea Zone 6 as well. Okay, income. There are a number of adjustments. Um, they get nothing for Ulan Batar, but they do claim the territory. And they get nothing for Kansu, but they do claim the territory. Uh, and in terms of what they get from China, they're going to pick up. One, whoops, two, three, and four from China. So China is down to a single dollar, and Japan goes from 36 to 40. From France, they're going to pick up two. So that's uh, 40 to 42, and France goes down from 6 to 4. Okay, from the Aussies, they're going to pick up 8, because they picked up Sumatra and Java, from the, uh, and they were held by the Australians. So if we make the adjustment there, 42 to 50 and 23 to 15 for the Aussies and lastly the Brits um, they're going to pick up one for Shan State four for Borneo and three for Kwangtung so that's eight Fifty-eight plus. Uh, oh, and the Brits go down forty-two to thirty-four. Okay. Uh, so fifty-eight dollars is the base income. Uh, they would have had a bonus had they managed to capture the Celebes, but they didn't. So they have no other national objectives. So fifty-eight dollars will go into their treasury.
Okay, so let's go around the other side of the board and we will do a disposition of forces. Okay, let's go north to south might be easiest. So we'll start up here in the north and we have in Siberia one infantry. In Amur, uh, one, two infantry, two artillery. In Ulan Batar, three infantry. In Korea, two infantry and a anti-aircraft artillery along with two fighters. In Japan proper, in the capital, uh, there are three infantry, three artillery, uh, one strategic bomber, two tactical bombers, and a fighter. In C-Zone 6, there is a fully loaded carrier with a fighter and a tactical bomber. There is um, There are three battleships, uh, two uh, cruisers, and two um, uh, destroyers. In C-Zone 16, there are two destroyers. Uh, continuing on with the islands, in the Caroline Islands there is a single anti-aircraft artillery. In Dutch New Guinea there is a destroyer. In the Celebes there is an empty transport. In, or sorry, in season 44 there's an empty transport. In season 43 there's a transport. And in Borneo there are two infantry. In Java, there are two infantry, and in C-Zone 42, there's a fully loaded carrier with a fighter and attack bomber, a transport, two destroyers, and two submarines. In C-Zone 41, there is a transport and a carrier with a tactical bomber on board. In Sumatra, there is an infantry. Okay. In Shan State, there is an infantry. In French Indochina, there is an artillery, and in Yunnan, there are uh, five artillery, five infantry, three tanks, and a mechanized infantry. Um, in Guangtung, there is an infantry and there are three uh, tanks. In Jiangsu, there are three tanks. In Kwai Chow, there is a strategic bomber. Uh, let me count these. I just want to make sure we have these right. Three uh, uh, tactical bombers and four fighters. In Sichuan, there's a single artillery. In Shanxi, there, or sorry, in Sichuan, there's a single infantry. In Shanxi, there is a single infantry. In Shahar, there is a single artillery. In Sui Yuan, there is uh, an infantry. And in Kansu, there is an infantry. I think I hit the Ulan Batar. There's three infantry up there. I think I said that already, though. Okay, so that is the disposition of the Japanese forces on the board. Um, Americans and Chinese are up next. Let's see what happens. See what the States decides to do with that great bloody big navy there. Okay.